Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, before I get started I'd like to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We reached 120 last night which is pretty good, more than I was expecting to get on this channel if I'm honest. If we can get up to 200 that would be awesome. So without further ado let's jump right into it. Today we are going to be building a really simple thing. We got a bed here in front of us and we are going to put a sheet on it um, the reason we're going to do this this was actually a viewer request someone dm'd me and asked me to do a tutorial on this because they were having trouble getting things to work first thing we're going to do is come up to a uh, primitive we're going to get these three shapes smushed together in a button and we're going to click on that and we're going to create a plane like so and we're going to make it the right size for a sheet so we're going to say like two meters by two meters and first thing i'm going to do is show you one of the most common mistakes that people make they make it the right size they hit accept they move it up and because they've only got one division this is one polygon this entire sheet is one polygon which means when you take the next few steps and you make the sheet a dynamic surface when you apply gravity to it all that's going to happen is going to fall like a flat piece of paper and it's just going to sit and rest on top of the bed like so so we're going to delete that we're going to create a plane and we're going to give it 200 divisions 200 is not too intensive on uh, memory as you can see everything's still running lovely and smooth and we're going to line our sheet up to sit over the bed like so I'm going to do that I'm going to just raise it up a little bit like so and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to quickly give it a bit of a different color so that we can make it out nice and easily so we're going to come into our surfaces tab come into our plane default general um, base even sorry and where it says base color we're going to change that and we're going to make it bright red like so so now when we look down on it it is bright red fantastic so at the moment it doesn't do anything it's just a giant featureless square that has no physics applied to it whatsoever it's just sitting there fat dumb and happy now if you were making a uh, a minecraft looking like an image that would be great but for us it's not what we want so the next thing we're going to do is make sure we've got our plane selected and in the top menu we're going to go to edit object geometry add a deforce modifier dynamic surface and you won't see much has happened you won't see anything's happened at all in fact other than the simulation has appeared in the parameters now that we've applied this to our plane let's come up here into simulation settings and we're not going to do anything we're not going to change any settings right now we're just going to hit simulate and we're going to see what happens your computer's going to have a bit of a think and as you can see it drops down and it drapes quite nicely over the bed folding up in the corners as you'd expect as you can see i'm not happy with the size of the sheet because i think it you know generally blankets drape over beds quite a bit more than that it just looks a bit kind of dull and featureless so we're going to hit clear and what we're going to do is we're going to raise it up so that it's about two feet above the bed and we're going to come into our parameters into our plane make sure we're in the parameters tab and not in the surfaces tab again and we're going to increase the scale quite dramatically and then we're just going to drag it back so that it's sitting like a bed sheet should that's a bit better and now we're going to go into our simulation settings and in the environment tab we're going to change gravity to 1.1 that just makes things fall a little bit faster and the air resistance should be okay so we're going to hit simulate again now as you can see falling from height there's always the risk that that's still not going to happen it's draping but it's it still looks kind of boring so let's try increasing our air resistance to point let's try point four and we hit simulate again 
the sheet hasn't actually met the bed. So we know that air resistance will slow down the fall, gravity increases the fall. So we're going to put that back to 0.15 like so. And we can have a look at our simulation settings. We can change the stabilization time. So if we wanted to, we could increase that to five seconds so that when we have the air resistance up, it still has time to fall flat. But I'm quite happy with that being one. What we want to do is we want to rotate our object slightly so that it lands a bit less perfectly on the surface. So we're going to come into our parameters tab and we're going to change the X rotation slightly. I'm going to rotate it just a fraction in that direction. I'm going to give it a more of a chance to fall. And we can look at our simulation um, properties in here, but because we've just got a basic dynamic surface, there's not a great deal to operate on this. But remember, this is a basic tutorial for just creating a really simple sheet. And we're just using this to make it look a little bit more natural. So we're going to run our simulate again. So it's kind of hard to see anything interesting happening in this view mode. So we're going to change to NVIDIA iRay. And we've got a really shiny, a really shiny bed sheet. Again, quite featureless, but as you can see, it has indeed draped over the bed. So if we go into clear and we're going to pop another object on top of our bed. So we're going to pop a, a random sphere and we're going to make it 0.5 of a meter. Come into our sphere, turn into our scenes tab and we're going to just pop that in the middle of the bed and then hit simulate again. And as you can see, it's draped nicely. And this is just a really, really simple way of creating a draping blanket or sheet that will conform to whatever you've got it on there. So you could have a person laying on that bed and it would drape nicely over them. So that was really basic and really simple, but I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing your results. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit me subscribe and like and the notification icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.